So I'm checking all these teeth and there doesn't appear to be any burrs. But I was told if you have the wrong kind of grease in these hubs that it won't engage and disengage properly. So I'm just cleaning it all up. So I cleaned it all up, got rid of all the old grease. I was looking for any burrs, any chips, any defects in the gears. Everything seems really good. So I was told to use a lithium grease, so I got it all loaded up nicely. And I done the same to that piece there, cleaned it all up, used the lithium grease. So six torque head bolts, tightens up the uh, hub. We'll try it out now, hopefully it works. Jacked it up, put it on stands, run the uh, truck in two wheel drive, and then stop, put it in uh, four wheel drive. When I had it in four wheel drive, the dry shaft was spinning to the uh, front pumpkin. And then also you would see the, uh, the universals here spinning. So I assume that my problem is in the hubs and I'm hoping, I'm hoping so. It's been sitting a couple weeks, actually a month. Awesome. Awesome, we got life. Well, it's not much of a test, but I'm just backing up this bit of hill and stuck on some ice, so we're gonna click it in four wheel drive and see what happens. Got her locked in four low. Went out and locked the hubs. We'll see what happens. Cross her fingers. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Did it once. We'll do it again. Come on, old girl. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta fix that back door. <laughs> Well, the four-wheel drive's working. We'll have to come up with some better tests and try it out some more. Cheers, y'all.